The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. Gentlemen, long time no see. We have a five ton York package unit gas pack here that's not heating. I got here and the induced draft was running, but we had no fire. I pulled this off and it looks like we are clogged up inside that port, which is not allowing our pressure switch to close. So I'm gonna find me something. Uh, to try to clear that out with. Yep, it was completely blocked up. Yeah, I can feel the wheel now. I got that port clear. The blower motor is running non-stop though. I, could be an open limit, either that or they or they have the thermostat set with the fan on, on too, trying to do everything that they could do. So let me see if that's the case. Okay, they have the thermostat set on, on in the on position. So I unhooked, and it's also calling for heat. So I'll unhook the WR here. I'm going to go ahead and hook that back up. Let me see if I can accomplish that while holding the phone. There's the inducer. Doesn't sound too healthy. I got a good bite on that. I think I heard the pressure switch. simple service call when you arrive on a whether it's a package unit or a you know split you get on the gas furnace and your inducers just running non-stop like that more than likely you you got a bad pressure switch that's not closing or that little port right here is clogged up which will not allow you know it to suck through this tube to close the pressure switch which is what we had in this particular situation I don't think there's anything wrong with the inducer. It's It feels like it might be a little loose, but I think it's just the vibration. And she was very clear to me not to, not to repair anything more than I had to because they're selling the building. This is an office. So it looks like a house. I'm, it was a house at one time, but it's been converted to an office. She said, please don't, don't make me spend any more money than I have to because I have the building for sale. Yes, ma'am. Let's go back and put that back on there. I heard it. Burning. I 
was able to get the inducer to stop vibrating. A couple of these little nuts right here were loose, so I just tightened them up and uh, it stopped vibrating. It's quiet now. Got good heat coming out of here. We got a good fire. okay all right guys I was getting I was I had packed up I had done put the door on and you know I was getting ready to go inside and let the customer know that it was fixed and when I was walking over here to go in I heard I could hear the flames cut off now keep in mind I had done buckled the unit up and everything so I said well something's not right so I walked over here, I heard them refire. They ran a little while, then they they shut off again. I take the door off. Been sitting here with it for I don't know how long. They won't shut off. You just gotta pay attention to detail. So what I noticed is you can see the thermostat wire comes in right here through this rubber grommet. Well, they had the thermostat wire coming in going right here in this little crack and then under here and then up through here to the board now it's fine to run your thermostat wire down here and come up through here that's what this rubber grommet's for but that's if you use the bottom knockout down here they didn't use the bottom knockout they went through the top and I think when I would put the door on the door was pinching the thermostat wire so I just simply came up here with it and straight to the board. Now when I put the door on, the door won't pinch the thermostat wire any longer. And you know, there's been a lot of work done this unit. You can tell there's people have been in here. So uh, here we are again with the door off. It's running fine. I'm gonna put the door back on and stand here with it and listen and make sure that that solves the issue. All right, guys, I believe that did it. I stood there with it for about five minutes or so. It never shut down. I made my ticket out, went and collected money, rechecked it, never shut off again. Temperature's coming up in the building. I believe that thermostat wire was getting pinched and that was causing an issue. It has not shut down since. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.